Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Right now we're going to look at a, a really awful trailer to a pretty great film. The marketing people clearly didn't know how to sell Mike's murder. It's a beautiful collaboration between writer-director James Bridges and actress Deborah Winger. Winger is one of my all-time favorites. There's a complete honesty to everything she does. Uh, in this movie, she plays a normal girl, a bank teller, and she's riveting. You can't take your eyes off of her. Uh, let's take a look. This might be Winger's best work, this or the very underrated A Dangerous Woman. Uh, Mike's Murder is also underrated, almost forgotten, heck it was, it was almost not even released. It's famous for having one of the worst test screenings of all time. The recruited audiences were expecting a Winger film in the style of her big hit, An Officer and a Gentleman, and when things got unpleasant in Mike's Murder, they really turned on the film, forcing the director back into the cutting room. Out went original editor, their legendary Dee Dee Allen. Out went the violent murder sequence, out went flashbacks, and out went most of the uh, Joe Jackson score. I'd love to see that version restored. There are bits in the trailer that are not in the final movie. But the Mike's murder that got dumped in the theaters is still an amazing film. It's one of the great uses of the city of Los Angeles. The film really captures the town, the transitory lives, the relationships of people who only see each other every six months but still think they're close, the emptiness. It's a sad film. Apparently based on a true story, a young acquaintance of James Bridges, uh, the boyfriend of actor Paul Winfield, was brutally murdered in a drug deal gone wrong. Winfield plays a fictionalized version of himself in the film. He's excellent. Also excellent is John Barry's haunting score. I can't imagine the film without it.